Open your eyes. Welcome to your first day. It doesn't look like much, does it? You don't know where you are, or who you are. You're vulnerable, unfinished, despite your nine months in the womb. Let's start with that last thing you just said. The way to think of this is the brain probably produces 40 to 60 percent more brain cells. Your eyes aren't fully formed yet. And your brain can't make sense of what they take in. You know, they use it or lose it. It's one principle. Neurons that fire together, wire together, is the second principle. Some scientists call this the fourth trimester. Charles Nelson, tell me more about the research that you're doing at Harvard University on infant development. Okay, the newborn is born with many more cells than we have, and then they start losing them. You have more brain cells now than you ever will. When it comes to synapses, the connections between brain cells, that pruning after birth is largely driven by experience. This time is critical. What we've been describing is something referred to as neuroplasticity. It's a period of opportunity or vulnerability. Days are passing. brain is colouring in the world. First there are reds and greens, then blues and yellows. Your eyes synchronise and like that the world is not flat anymore. everyone. Where have your parents gone? If you are neglected now, it could affect your development. If the right experience has come along, then the brain is built the right way. But if the wrong experience has come along, then the brain needs to be bred. Under conditions of deprivation, you see a reduction in brain activity. But even kids raised in poverty, if they have really great parents, those kids do better than the kids growing up in less responsive homes. Your future depends on interaction. You need to see your behavior impact the world around you. It's a primitive social dialogue. Send out a message and get something back. Lock eyes with your mum. Your family your caregiver is your lifeline. These relationships are the most important in your development. Through these interactions, even if small and mundane, you learn how to connect. As you grow into adulthood, you will forget these moments. They will fade from your memory. They will have formed part of the deepest wiring of your brain and will echo through the rest of your life. 